this segment of the video, we're gonna be installing some new taillights on this Civic. So if you don't know, this is my 8th gen Civic SI that I did the full JDM conversion. I've had this for about like, I wanna say like two years now, this look, and it's about time that I wanna switch it up. Right now, we're gonna be switching the taillights and right here, these are the pre-facelift demon tail lights. I do like them, but I kind of feel like it clashes with the blue, kind of like Spider-Man. So I kind of want to change it up a little bit. And in this box, I have some brand new tail lights. These are some uh, clear octagon style tail lights. So these are technically the Koki versions of the FD2 tail lights. So I'm going to be swapping these in, and uh, I think it's going to look really good. I said, this diffuser is so messed up. Why? Dude, just look at this. Now see all the speckles? Okay, it's from rocks because I drive it on the racetrack. See guys, if this was a replica rear end conversion, we wouldn't even be removing screws. We'll just yank it off because it's only held on by double-sided tape. If you buy OEM once, what'd you say? Cry once? If you buy OEM, you only buy once and you cry once. When you buy a rep, you feel good for a second until you put it on. <laughs> Man, I have not seen this in a long time. I did this probably about four years ago. I did the conversion, actually not four years ago, I think three years ago, but this is my cutting job. I mean, it could be a lot better, but this was a long time ago. But yeah, if you guys wanna do the conversion, this is what it's supposed to look like. Not the prettiest job, but fitment is on point with the tail light. All right, Andrew, throw it in. I know you like it, I know you like it. Aftermarket, not OEM. Andrew smiling is a sign that he loves it. Definitely don't love it. He loves it. All right, so there they are, the clear tail lights. I honestly am really digging the way they look. I think it looks really hot. It looks really hot, boy. It looks way better than the red, just because the red and the blue is just too much Spider-Man vibes going on. Plus, I got like blue wheels. Too many colors just clashing. I know Andrew's a big hater over here. He does not like the deep. I mean, not yeah, Depot. They're, they're <laughs> Depot. They're Depot. <laughs> they're Depot. They, that, that someone charged you a shitload of money for some Depot taillights. <laughs> no, no, no. So I already know some of you guys are going to be on Andrew's side, but for me, I just think it looks a lot better. If the car was like white or black or like silver or something, I definitely think the red taillights would look pretty sick, but I think it just looks a lot better with the blue. I also it do. Look too bad. I guess it looks kind of iced out a little bit, but. <laughs> You know, bro, I went to Icebox and came back out. Yeah, <laughs> went to Johnny Dang and here I came. Leave a comment down below how you guys feel about the way the car looks now. Definitely still have a lot of stuff that needs to be done to this thing, especially the color of the wheels and the brake colors. I still need to find time to do that. Gotta give Bill his hood back. I gotta get myself a hood. I have already new fenders and stuff for this thing, so. New this thing's wheels? This thing's about to be sick. New wheels? Yeah. What do you mean new wheels? Uh, I mean for the back. For the back. We gotta repaint the wheels. Get the, color, the wheels changed. We got a little passenger today, Leah. Sit, let me throw this on. Shh, shh. Leah, sit, come on. Be cool. No, 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 no. Oh, look at you. What's going on? Why are you so scared? <laughs> it looks so cool on you, man. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. <laughs> Why do you look like that, bruh? <laughs> Bro is so confused. 
random jump cut. Today is another day. It's about a few days after the taillight install and I wanted to figure out how to close off this video. But for those of you guys who stayed till the very end, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek. I think someone's calling me. It's Bill. Bill's calling me. For those of you who don't know, no, you can call him. You can talk to him. I want to give you guys a little recap of what has happened. We hosted a meet uh, back in the Bay and it's been about like two years since we did that and it was really fun. It was really last minute. Uh, I think I want to plan a little better next time. Maybe plan with a couple of other YouTubers or something and see if we can like get a meet going maybe in October. If you guys are interested, let us know and if you're in the Bay Area, drop a comment down below. Right now, Andrew and I are going to go head over to our Parts EK Civic. This is for the guys that stay till the very end of the video. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what else we're going to be putting onto this car because this car is actually coming along very, very quickly. And I know a lot of you guys have been loving the build so far. Also, the, the car doesn't have the seeker wing on it right now because I had to take it off and I'm gonna make a TikTok video with it today. That's the problem, guys. When I have to film twice, do the install twice for other social media platforms, it gets kind of crazy. Imagine if I had to do an engine swap twice. Let's go head over to the parts car and show you guys what we have. All right, so if you guys don't know, we do have another EK Civic besides this this one, or should I say EJ6. We have another one right here. I've mentioned it a couple times in the videos. And uh, this thing was gonna be the Project EK Civic hatchback build, but ended up not being so because this thing just is too far gone. I mean, we looked around for some nice wide body kits to cut, I mean, not cut, to replace this, but just really could not find any. We really wanted to make this car a very nice clean build and it just wasn't really possible I mean without spending a crap ton of money and the canvas is kind of just not as good as the black one I mean they used like some caulking around the glass and just like sealed it up everywhere didn't really try what else is here oh look oh damn this thing actually got hella long yeah. I actually oh dude it's actually really long like my yeah. cock but I actually took a, a Snapchat memory of this plant growing through the headlight. This thing is hella long now. Go, oh, dude, this thing you. had the power steering, bro. About to boot this shit and put it in our black one. Oh, yeah, power steering is definitely a must. Put this bad boy in ours. It's not fitted up to this thing. We came here for today are these spoon mirrors. These are not genuine. These are replica, and they look like they fit pretty good. I mean, they're, they're not like the best looking, you know, but... You know, these are these are like super cheap replicas. We are doing this on a budget. We are doing it on a budget. I mean, hence the seeker rep wing. We're trying to make this car look good. We're trying to have this car beat scat packs and stuff <laughs> on the freeway. Thank I think that'll be guy. so funny. I think that'll be so funny to have our EK just beat some scat packs on the freeway, just embarrassing these guys. That'll be so fun. <laughs> I live in a delusional nightmare. You don't think so? You don't think an EK like this with the... Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even say the engine. You don't think this EK with the engine that we're going to put in can whip scat packs? They do know what engine we have, don't they? No, not for the black EK. Oh. We you didn't tell them yet. We just told, the them we, got, we just told them we got a new engine. Yeah, show them the new engine. Nah, nah. The engine is back there. It is back there underneath that little tarp. I think I think that's... Hey, you that's uh, that's... I wasn't ready. You just said, can you grab the mirror? Nice. Did I break it? Yes. Where? Everywhere. But this bumper, this bumper is brand new. Oh wait, this thing got disc brakes in the back, bro. Really? Wait, no, yes, bro. Oh, we got disc brakes? Damn. I'm about oh. to take that shit too. Oh, oh yes. Shit. I actually got disc brakes. So these mirrors are what we came for mainly. Um, there's some replica spoon mirrors. They probably like run you like 50 bucks on eBay, to be honest. But this car already had it, so why not? So it's free. Free, every dollar counts. I think these are not bad. I don't know if these are gonna be the permanent mirror on the car, but. We're taking these two. These are not bad. This car has pretty much just became a storage unit. Everything in here is pretty much for future builds or cars that are not. Oh my god, bro! What? The fucking studs is going on the back of the seat. Do you not see that? Do you not see the engine stabbing the seat? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't care? Not particularly. I really just bought it for the the side mounts, the Recaros. Oh. And the seat bracket. Or maybe it could be a sim seat. Oh yeah. We could do that. Yeah. So we pretty much got the Type R replica. F almost said front lip. 
Type R replica rear lip for this car and it fits up fine. Um, this is temporary. I actually was not expecting to pick this up and look at that guy. Gone with the ween. I was not expecting to use this um, on this car, but why not? It's free. It's already on a car we have and it'll make the rear end look a lot better. A little, little less naked. It looks a little naked right now. The only thing I don't like that has been done, the guy put some hardware in the middle, which really didn't need to be done. And the other thing I don't really like is the exhaust on that car kind of warped the rear lip. It was, a, you know, a free lip, might as well. This is not the lip that we're gonna be running on this car permanently, by the way. For those of you who don't own an EK and are really interested in these cars, it's spacious, it's cheap. Parts for the car are stupid cheap, dude. So if you guys are trying to get like a first car or anything like that, like these things are the way to go. You easily find some. Easily, bro, easily. And they drive really, really smooth. All right, Andrew's gonna be whipping this car back home. Hell yeah. Uh, you're clear. Oh, god damn. Go ahead, go ahead. This thing looks so cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. If you guys are excited to see more of this car on the channel, as well as my FD2 Civic, FD2, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to let me know if you guys want me to throw some more meets this year, already planning for October. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace out.